I don't see the residents when they're calling in as just calls in a queue. I see these people behind the phone. I see real life people with real life situations. I'm concerned about how customers are treated, internal and external. That's my biggest focus. That's my motivation to come to work each and every day. On a light day, I can take 30 plus calls. On a heavy day, 70 plus calls. Every single call gets treated exactly the same way, but some calls are more of an emergency. And yes, we definitely do have metrics, occupancy, we definitely do. But when you are trying to help a customer and you're on the other end of the phone and you have the senior citizen and she can't make her payment and she's trying to get in a payment plan and she doesn't have the full down payment and it's going to take a little longer to reach out to supervisory support to see if they can override it and get her in the payment plan arrangement with the lower down payment but that extra time that's adding to my metrics if it's helping someone else it's worth it to me my job is to service the customer so if it means spending more time on each call that may be extremely long at the end is, did I satisfy the customer? Did I resolve their resolution on the first call? And whether or not um, they have to call back again. So I'm kind of worried about the time, but my focus is on servicing the customer first. I am excited. How can I assist you? What can I do? And then if I'm not excited, I always mirror their energy. As in, if they're calling in with an emergency, now my focus has shifted. It's an emergency for both of us. If, if it's water in your basement, I feel like it's water in my basement and we're gonna do everything we can to get someone out there. I'm gonna let you know the whole process and procedure and we're gonna make sure that you're good and your issue is resolved. So would you say that it's more than just about taking calls? Absolutely. It's um, a part of like a, a family. We have to be there for them because they are our customer base. So we have to always put the customer first. The most amazing days that I have when the customers are scared to call in because they say, oh my goodness, I'm so scared to call in. I have this $3,000 bill and I'm sitting in my seat. I can barely sit still because I'm like, congratulations, you were approved for our lifeline plan. I've had people praise God. I've had people cry on the phone because they were so afraid initially to call in, not knowing that you've been approved for our lifeline plan and I always tell them our lifeline plan it was created the foundation and the bedrock of it was to literally provide you with its namesake a lifeline the fact that other cities and jurisdictions and municipalities they're looking at Detroit it makes me feel so good and so proud and it's a privilege to be a customer care specialist